Hello and welcome to Drop the Bowtie, brought to you by your friends at American Financial and Automotive Services. I'm Jim Ganther, and today's episode, we're going to answer the mailbag. Our first question comes from Duane from Texas. Duane writes, with all the talk about home deliveries, doesn't that create a three-day right of rescission? Well, the answer is generally no, Duane, it does not. Here is why. The federal cooling off rule is a federal trade commission rule that applies primarily to door to door sales. And it specifically exempts the sale of automobiles, light trucks, and so on, provided the selling company has a physical location. So home deliveries are not the same thing as home sales or home solicitations. Under the Federal Trade Commission cooling off rule, there should be no three-day right of rescission. But that's not necessarily the end of the story. There are state laws that may apply. For example, your state, Duane, Texas, does have a law on the books that permits a three-day right of rescission under certain circumstances. Exempted are sales that were initiated at the physical site of, in this case, the dealership. If they were initiated, concluded at the dealership, the delivery doesn't make it subject to the three-day right of rescission. Here's the wrinkle. Does an online sale constitute the physical location of the dealership? I am aware of no law that defines that conclusively. My suspicion is the online presence is going to be the same thing as the physical presence at the showroom. But that is a matter of Texas law, to which I direct you to Texas lawyers or the good people at the Texas Automobile Dealers Association. Our next question comes from Betsy from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Betsy writes, what's with the beard? Well, Betsy, two weeks ago today, Tampa, Florida went under a stay-at-home order. I am no longer permitted to go to work. And if I'm working from home and videotaping from home, I'm not going to bother shaving. Whenever this stay-at-home order gets lifted, I will shave my beard again. But thanks for writing, Mom. Our last question comes from Garen in Missouri. And Garen writes, My company serves the retail automotive industry, and we're really getting hammered. We completed an application for relief under the Payroll Protection Program last week. When will we get our check? Garen, I wish I knew. It's a very complicated question, but it's such a good question that it's going to be the topic of our next Drop the Bow Tie when we unpack the legislative response to COVID-19. For Drop the Bow Tie, I'm Jim Ganther. Thanks for watching. <music>